Gold Town Casino, where you'll get the most bang for your bucks, top-notch live gaming action, superior dining at Bougainville Cafe, and impeccable service you'll never want to leave. With surprises in store every day, why go anywhere else? All here at the Gold Town Casino. At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Welcome back. The U.S. Citizenship, Immigration Services, and the Bureau of Land Management will welcome 102 new U.S. citizens against the stunning sandstone formations of the Calico Hills in Red Rock Canyon on Monday, January 21st at 9 a.m. The ceremony will honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., marking the year that King's I Have a Dream speech turns 50 years old. The new U.S. citizens from dozens of countries embody his dream of a vibrant multicultural nation of cooperation that he so compellingly expressed in his great dream for America. Commissioner Butch Baraski talks about how to get involved in meetings throughout the community. There, there was a comment that was made in the meeting by um, uh, one of the commissioners that was down in Pahrump about transparency or something. I didn't really know what, what they were referring to, but uh, the meetings are open, they're agendized, I've asked you at uh, Channel 41, and I'll ask the other media outlets in town to please uh, notify the public when we're going to have meetings. And but it's it's there. It's it's constant, uh, and it's again it's the first Tuesday and the third Tuesday of every month, and it's like clockwork. Ten o'clock, they start. The one that happens in Tonopah, you also teleconference down here. Yeah, you know, we actually teleconference both meetings. Uh, so we have can go to the Calvada Eye and watch it. Yeah, you could actually go into Calvada Eye. You can uh, give uh, public comment, mm -hmm. testimony, or just watch the meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, we got big screens and everything for you to look at, and it's uh, it's quite advanced technology. And I would encourage anybody that that uh, uh, that would like to, if you can't go to the meeting or you're afraid to go to the meeting for whatever reason. I've had several people tell me that makes them too nervous to go into a crowd like that. Uh, then you can view it on Granicus. And you could actually eventually well have a capability where you could email in a question. And actually you can do that now. If you wanted to email a question, have it read into the record, uh, that we have the capability of doing that. And I'd be glad to do it as chairperson to, to allow something like that to happen. And also, you can go on the Nye County website to find out the agendas, past and uh, current ones. Yes, I would encourage everybody to get familiar with Nye County website, as, as well as the Prump Town Board website, how to operate it, how to get into it. If you have questions, we have staff that would be glad to help you or show you how to do it if you're, if you're really not up to snuff. Uh, not everybody is, you know, a high-speed wizard, so... Uh, but our staff would be g glad if you went to the office to show you how to get into it, how to do it. Uh, you can get your own link down there, so you can just click on it and it'll go right to it. And uh, all the, the meetings and codes and everything you want to know are in there. So uh, you want to talk about transparency. I mean, you, you, it's like living in an open book. I mean, it's there. All you got to do is utilize it. Some people don't have computers. Some people don't watch TV. Some people are or like in a shell and if they can ask one of their neighbors or friends to uh, look into that for them. Anything that you would like to add that's um, up for the coming 2013 year that you're really going to be focusing on? Well I think I want to stay focused on what I've been focused on since I came in the office. It's changing the county rules and regulations to make them more amenable to the public. Uh, we're out there to serve the public, that's our job. And we could do is cut some of our codes or modify or change them so they fit current times. The economics are bad right now, and they're getting worse. There's more and more people out of work, and we need to find ways, you know, at the county level. Uh, government shouldn't create jobs, but it can create the opportunity for the job to happen, and that's what we need to do in Nye County. 
Now let's go to Ginger with your First Move Fitness Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Ginger, personal trainer, sports nutritionist at First Move Fitness. Here is your fitness tip of the week. When it comes to cardio routines, not everyone is created equally. Research has shown that there are more efficient ways to burn calories. They include choosing equipment that uses more energy, working at higher intensities, performing interval training at both low and high intensities. Interval training is performed by rotating bouts of high intensity with lower intensity exercise or rest periods for the duration of your workout. One example would be a one minute fast run on a treadmill followed by a three minute slower jog and repeat for 20 minutes. Increase the intensity by increasing the speed, resistance, or incline. We offer a variety of cardio equipment and classes that will help you burn calories. Come see us. Remember, the first move is yours. So, Doug, I see the wind's been blowing your hair all over the place. <laughs> yeah, you can really tell. <laughs> well, there's a wind advisory in effect until tonight at 7 p.m. We'll have more of your weather when we get back. Please stay with us. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Welcome back, everyone. Keyword for today was windy. Look at that. Wind's coming out of the southwest at 17 miles per hour, gusts at 29, so it was really blowing today. We have partly cloudy skies, high of 52 degrees, pressure rising from 29.72. UV index went down to too low, humidity at 30%. Our sunrise stayed at the same, 6.55 a.m., and the record high for tonight was 69 degrees back in 1996. So looking at tonight, we're going to have partly cloudy skies, low of 24 degrees, that wind advisory we told you about yesterday is going to stay until effect. It's going to stay in effect until 7 p.m. tonight. Winds coming out of the west southwest at 12. Gusts are going to stay strong at 25 miles per hour. Humidity at 40 percent, and our sunset's going to get a little bit later there, 4:48 p.m. And the record low for tonight, 11 degrees back in 1937. Looking at tomorrow, we're going to have mostly sunny skies. Our temperature's going to go down to 44 degrees, a low of 19. Winds coming out of the west-northwest at 9 miles per hour and gusts at 14. Midi of 27%. Sunrise is going to stay the same and the UV index is going to go up to 3. So looking at our 7-day forecast, for the rest of the week it's going to be pretty cold into that weekend. 42 degrees, 40, 42 again on Sunday. And those lows are also going to be cold. Sunday, 18 degrees. Wow, it's going to be pretty chilly. But looking as into the start of the next week, it's going to start picking up in temperature. Look at that, 48 on Tuesday, 54 on Wednesday, and hopefully that curve will continue upwards. We'll get a hotter, it'll continue to get hotter up in that 60 degrees range, 60 degree range, which is a lot more comfortable. That's all for your weather today. Back to the desk. Thank you, Ian. This Saturday, this Saturday, the USDA Commodities Giveaway will take place from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Recipients must have a valid Nevada driver's license or identification card with a Pahrump address and a utility bill or rent receipt with the same address to receive food. The giveaway will be at the New Hope Fellowship located at 781 West Street. All right. Well, that'll do it for tonight's newscast. From everyone up here on the Hill, have a safe evening. Good night, Pahrump. Good night.